Now, positive music doesn't necessarily mean strictly happy-go-lucky music with a simplistic theme. Music can be uplifting as a result of the messages of hope and a desire to seek better times. This can be represented in a number of ways, and today I'd like to share a few tips to help you write more positive, uplifting music. Hi everyone, I hope you're all staying safe and well. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. For those of you that are new to my channel, my name's Mike and I'm the owner of Micmix Productions. I'm a music producer, mixer, engineer. I also have this vlog channel where I'm regularly discussing all things music production, mixing and mastering. If you enjoy watching content like this, I really appreciate you liking this video and subscribing to my channel so that you can get those notifications each time a new video is uploaded. There's no question that during challenging times, people often turn to music to be uplifted. In my dealings with particular music publishers and agents recently, uh, there's certainly been a bit of a spike in demand for songs with a, a more uplifting theme. First and foremost, lyrics really are the most dominant aspect of a song that captures people's attention. So it's important to spend some time uh, having a think about what message it is you wish to convey and what it is that you're actually trying to say. Once you've decided on your theme, then you can start brainstorming words and phrases that might resonate. Think about what kind of words inspire feelings of positivity and give you an uplifting feeling and try to uh, incorporate that into your own songwriting. It's really important for song structure to be accessible to listeners. What that means is that your audience must be able to follow and relate to the flow of the song and almost subconsciously predict which direction it's going to go. A familiar song structure with a traditional intro, verse, chorus, verse, bridge, etc., has been proven over many years and many hit songs to be a winning formula, irrespective of the genre. The melody is closely connected to song structure and along with the lyrical content, will likely be the difference between someone listening to your song or flicking through to the next track. Major chords are a simple way to quickly get in the mode of positive, upbeat music. In my experience as a musician and songwriter, I would always internally refer to chords in a way that, I guess, describes their emotional content. For example, a simple E major chord has a much happier and uplifting feel than, say, an E minor chord. To create contrast in an uplifting type of song, you can blend in minor chords or sad chords as I tend to refer to them and further accentuate that major chord happier feel. The type of sounds and tones you choose can also play a big role in how your song is perceived. For example, using a heavily detuned seven string baritone guitar with a heavy metal distortion uh, combined with a stack of say dissonant chords is perhaps unlikely to come across as uplifting to the average listener. Unless, of course, you are a hugely devoted uh, heavy metal fan. In that case, you may well find this sound particularly pleasing to the ear. Take a look at the category of sleep music, for example. Everyone these days has some sort of sleep playlist on their Spotify. You'll find that most tracks in this genre have especially soothing sounds to help lull the listener to sleep. It's no different uh, when writing or recording an uplifting type of song. You want to choose sounds that uh, invoke positivity by being pleasing to the ear. Finally, the speed and length of your song should definitely be an important consideration during the songwriting process. Whilst there are no hard and fast rules around this, you might achieve a more desirable result if you aim for a quicker tempo and keep the song around that three and a half minute mark uh, approximately. Remember, you need to capture the listener's attention within seconds. And if your song doesn't get to the point quickly, you will have likely lost that person just as quickly. Thanks for watching this video until the end. I hope it's given you some helpful tips on how you can write positive, uplifting music. Remember to check out my website, mnproductions.com.au for more detailed information on the topics around music production, mixing, and mastering. You can also find me on the usual social media channels. The links are listed below. I often feature artists that I've worked with on my social media channels, so certainly feel free to check it out and I look forward to catching you again soon.